Hello, my name is Father Edward Looney, and you're listening to the podcast, How They Love Mary, a podcast that I hope will either be the beginning or the deepening of your Marian devotion. Longtime followers of the podcast and of me will know that I really love film and I love promoting Catholic movies and movies with a good Christian message. And often I've had such people uh, associated with film on my show here and uh, today we're bringing you a special episode, just a little quick episode to make you aware of a film that's going to be a Fathom movie event on Tuesday, April 18th. It'll be uh, released in select theaters all throughout the country. And basically just go to Fathom events. You can find out where it's showing near you and buy your ticket and go to the theater. It's one night only uh, on Tuesday, April 18th. And the film is called Mirando al Cielo, which... Uh, if my Spanish translation uh, is correct, it means looking at heaven or look up to heaven or something like that. And it's the story about San Jose Sanchez del Rio. So a teenage saint from Mexico during the Cristero War. And this film tells his story. It's a biopic. It's in Spanish with English subtitles. So you do have to follow along as you watch it. But today I'm speaking with one of the producers of the film, Laura Peleas. And her husband was the director or writer and writer also of the movie too. So kind of a family affair for them as they uh, seek to spread devotion to San Jose Sanchez del Rio and make his story better known. So thanks so much, Laura, for uh, joining me today. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Father, for having me here. Um, I, I guess I'm curious, when were you first introduced to San Jose Sanchez del Rio? Well, uh, when my husband, he's the, as you say, he's a writer, find, found out for our kids at school about Jose Sanchez del Rio, he, he thought this story has to be known for many, many people because it's a great example for young people, for adolescents, and for the whole family because uh, how, how can a young, uh, well, uh, a young man can be so so faithful and so uh, uh, co coher coherent would be. I mean that he 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 was capable to give his life for what he believed. Uh, uh, his his very famous phrase it is. It has never been so easy to earn heaven, and and it sounds easy, but he knew he was going to. To the guerrilla, we could say, because there was a persecution for the Christians. So he he knew he could die, and even though he he went ahead, and when he when he went to jail, he he all the people wanted to to deny God, and he was always firm, in, even though he knew he he could be killed, and the curious case is that his godfather was the one who gave the order to to be martyrized and after death so it is it is a a, a very strange story the people who are supposed to help you live your christian life is the one who sends you to death because you you do not deny your faith so uh yeah, but uh, we believe that uh, a boy like that learned from the family. So I think every saint has a family behind him. So that's what I said. It is for for young people, but it is for families to this movie because there's a lot to learn and to to take to your heart. So there was this Cristero War that took place in Mexico, I think in the uh, 1900s. And uh, one of the great martyr saints that people might know of is Blessed Miguel Pro. He was a Jesuit priest and had to disguise himself. Uh, and he was put to death. And I was in Mexico City uh, last year and had the chance to visit. Uh, there was a church that had a shrine where his relics are, and they had a museum and everything. So I learned the story of Blessed Miguel Pro, and really a very inspiring story. And I think what the martyrs teach us, so someone like Miguel Pro, 
or someone like Jose Sanchez del Rio is that they're faithful to the end. It would have been so easy for them to say, I don't believe this. I don't, you know, I, I reject this and I want to live my life. I want to be with my family. I want to grow up. Jose Sanchez del Rio dies at 14 he, er, and he had his entire life ahead of him. He could have went on to be a priest and preach the gospel, but he chose to stay faithful and to die a martyr's death. And now we're telling his story. We're talking about him. And that makes us hopefully more faithful as a result. So, so it is a story that I think will speak volumes uh, to people. So, um, and one of the one of the key phrases of the Cristero uh, movement in Mexico was "Viva Cristo Rey." They always said that, and then they said "Viva uh, la Virgen de Guadalupe." So long live Christ the King, long live the Blessed Virgin. And um, can you speak a little bit about the devotional life of San Jose Sanchez del Rio, his love for God or for Mary and the saints? Yeah, I I think he it was something that he learned he learned at home. And uh, I, I think the family was was very close to 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 his faith to to their faith, and that's what he learned. Uh, in in the movie, there are several scenes that he 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 reflects that he knows the the scriptures because sometimes he he there is a. A very funny uh, scene. Well, it's not funny, but you were talking about the nine year faith. There is a, I'm not going to spoil anything, but there is a scene that a soldier that he, he likes Jose. The soldier said, Why don't you say just a little lie? No, God knows that, you're li that you believe in him. You just say, I don't believe, so they won't kill you. You don't want to be killed. And Jose said, uh, how, how can I deny God? And when I go with him, what, what will I tell him? And then he explains the soldier a passage when God is crucified and, the, and the, he talks about the good thief and the mm. bad thief. So you can see that Jose knew the gospel and he, he, he brings it to life No. And his story then, so you have this 14-year-old kid who knows the gospel, as you said, you point that out, uh, has a great faith, wants to give his life promoting the Catholic faith uh, during this time where of persecution, of martyrdom, etc. And so what do you think his value is to young people today? So, you know, I'm a parish priest, so uh, I have young people in religious ed. And, and so how does he speak to them today? I think I think we're living another kind of persecution because we're, we're not asked to give our lives right now. But uh, sometimes we we cannot face the people and say, I believe. No. And I think it's it's a great example for a young boy that beside all the things that could happen to him, he he says, I believe. I believe in Christ, long live Christ, uh, Christ the King. And I think uh, young people sometimes do not have to give their lives, but have to say, I do believe. Even if they will say, oh, you, you, we would say in Spanish, you are macho or, <laughs> or are you, uh, but, but do not, do not be ashamed and to stand up to what we believe. Yeah, I think that's a great message because, of course, young people today, they they face a lot of different temptations. And uh, they also, when they go off to college, we see this, that 19, 20-year-olds just kind of come to a point where they reject faith. So, you know, if we can have them at the age of 14 saying, I believe, and then they maintain that all throughout, you know, that'll be something very beautiful and uh, it will be very good for them uh, as they continue that relationship with God. And so uh, the movie is Mirando El Cielo. And can you translate that? Did I get that right? Look up to heaven or how, how do you translate yeah. that? Look, look at heaven. We call it looking at heaven. Yeah. And so I yeah. think that's the story of San Jose. 
uh, the story of San Jose Sanchez del Rio is going to point us to heaven. And that's the role yeah. of the saints to really inspire us. And now we rely on their prayers so that we might remain faithful uh, throughout the rest of our life. So uh, you can go to Fathom Events, look up Mirando Al Cielo. It's coming out in theaters Tuesday, April 18th. Go out and learn the story of this great teenage saint. So thanks so much, Laura, for joining me thanks. today and for the good work uh, that you've done in putting this film together to share this story with the world. Thank you. Thank you, Father. God bless you.